So we put in the details for the unleash ruckus wireless.com forward slash guest pass into a different browser. And then we can continue to that web page. And at that point, you'll get the landing page that any user who's authenticated or is allowed to create guest passes will be redirected to here. So now we're going to log in as the guest pass generator. So we're going to use the local database in this example, or in any other circumstance, you would use the AD account. So we will just create test. And enter the password for the test user. They'll then be redirected to a guest information where they can then enter the details of the guest user. So we can create guest passes for single or multiple users. And then you just follow out the steps and there you have it, you can create a guest pass. So you can put in a full name, how long you want the guest pass to be valid for, be it days or hours or weeks, which WLAN you want them to have access to. You can put in their email address if you want to email the guest pass. You can put in the phone number if you want to use SMS to send the guest pass. And there is the key which also can be edited if you wish to edit the key. But we tend to use it as standard. And at that point you can enter any remarks. And you can also decide how shareable you want that pass to be. So how many times can that guest pass be used before it's invalid? So if they have multiple devices, you might want to make it so it's three, two, four, or you might want to make it unlimited. But we normally stick to either one to three times it can be shared. And then after, you can also select if you want the session to terminate, and you can terminate the user session after an amount of minutes, days, hours, or weeks. And also at this point, you can show existing guest passes. There are no existing guest passes, but be aware when you do press that button, you'll have to start the whole process again. So we'll just finish off with Joe Blogs, with that email, no real remarks, make it showable once, you click next, and that's it, and the password's created. And all you need to do is select print instructions, and you can print the instructions off and select them and give them to your visitor. If you have a SMS or email account set up, you can then email and SMS the users as well. And that's it, you've created your guest pass, they have guest access, and it's as simple as that.